once you have your um, domain set up on your hosting, you want to log into cPanel. Now, you don't need to create any databases. You do not need to install WordPress. Just log into cPanel, and you want to go down to the Files section, and you're going to do File Manager. And then this box is going to come up, and you're going to pick the domain that you're installing your PLR blog on. You'll have a list of domains under here. For me, I only have one, so I'm going to pick this. And this window will come up. And you want to make sure it's in the root directory, which is public.html. It usually defaults to there. And it, there should be nothing in there. And what you want to do is you want to click this Upload Folder. Now, you should have the, um, the download zip file that you got with your PLR blog. You should have that on your hard drive, and you should have it unzipped. And you want to click this Upload, and you, this screen will come up. And then you're going to browse to the directory on your hard drive that you unzipped with your PLR blog. And it should look something like this. Um, it'll have the graphics folder, the website files, the license, and the PLR blog setup guide. You want to go into the website files folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to upload every single one of these four files onto your server. So you want to click the first file and then just go through them right down the line. Browse to the next file, and then you can add another upload box here to get the last file. And you want to wait until these are all uploaded. And then you want to go to your domain slash flipmeclone.php. So it's your domain slash flipmeclone, and you'll see the beautiful flip with her wand, her magic wand, and you want to pick the second thing down here because it's going to install the database and everything for you. And what you want to do in here is you want to type in your domain. Now you don't want to put the www or the http, just the main domain, just like that. And if you're installing it on the main root directory of your domain, you want to leave the slash, but if you're installing it in a folder, you'll want to put, um, you know, the folder and then and then a backslash after the folder. But I highly suggest you don't do that. Just install it in your main directory, and then you want to type in your cPanel username and the password, and you want to put localhost, and then you want to pick a database name. Um, I think seven characters or less it has to be. And a username, also seven characters or less. And then a password, and I'm not sure how long that can be, but to be on the safe side, seven characters or less would be good. And then you're going to install backup. Now this is good. You're going to see this here. Um, it doesn't mean anything as long as you don't see any errors. Everything was good. And you're going to click on this, and it will populate the site. Now you can see it populated it, and um, it's all done. So you just click View Blog. Now the next thing you have to do is you've got to log in, and you want to change your, um, your affiliate IDs and your password and everything. And I will, um, in the next video, I'll show you how to do that.